I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com and this is the HTC First. We covered it in the unboxing and now it's time to take a look at the software powering this little Android phone. It's got Facebook Home and Android 4.1 and let's take a look and see how Facebook Home performs on a device with it out of the box. You look at Facebook Home on the HTC First. This is a new device from AT&T made by HTC and available now for $99.99 with a two-year agreement at AT&T. But Facebook Home marks an entirely new path for Facebook. It's beautiful, at least if your friends take beautiful pictures, that is. It's totally different and it runs completely on top of Android, bringing your phone into the Facebook world in a dramatically different way. You can see obviously the device here, but then Facebook Home entirely different all around here with beautiful text, the images look nice, and it brings Facebook front and center on your actual device. So you can see here a couple of different things that I can do. I can scroll in between different status updates. I've got the ability to like and to comment directly from the page itself. And I'm seeing all my status updates my friends have done up to this point, at least today. Uh, this afternoon. So you can see I can press and hold to see the cover photo, in this case a car, and then I can back back out and scroll through the various statuses. It's nice I can double tap to like an individual post or an individual status and I can see comments here as well and respond directly from the application. As I'm scrolling through you can see down here the menu button accesses a couple of different unique applications, things like phone, things that you would use on a regular basis, phone, settings, and more. And then of course I can move my chat head around and see apps, gallery, which is actually a, a movable, it's not a static uh, application, and then of course messenger as well. So we'll go into apps again and take a look here and you can see phone, settings, maps, Chrome, all the stuff you would use on a regular basis. I can update my status directly from this individual area and of course I can use it in portrait and in landscape mode on the 4.3 inch display that is a 720p display at that. Just as a recap, $99.99 gets you the device and this is the first device to come with Facebook Home pre-installed out of the box. So you get kind of a Facebook centric device here designed directly for Facebook Home. But then if I want to access other things, I can go through and scroll through as you see here, and then I can access more of a full applications menu right here. I've got the ability to access everything on the device itself. You can see a bunch of different things that aren't in the most commonly used applications area. And then I can scroll down and see Facebook Home, Home Settings, of course, Google Plus integration, Google Plus, Google Plus Settings, Gmail, all of that different stuff. And then AT&T apps as well, My AT&T, Visual Voicemail, and then of course Quadrant Standard, a couple of other things that I've installed also, now when I look down at the very bottom, you're going to see a little application that says more. And when I click on that in just a second, I'll click on it as you can see right here, bam. And then once I click on it, it brings me to Android 4.1. Now this is a stock version of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean here. No overlays outside, obviously, of Facebook Home. But it's a completely clean version that I can access really at any point in time. So this device is great for two people. It's great when you look at it from that perspective of being a stock Android 4.1 device. And it's great when you look at it as a Facebook Home device as well because it's intended to be Facebook Home out of the box. So I can see this for those Nexus users that maybe find the Nexus 4 too hard to come by or it's too big or it doesn't have LTE capabilities on AT&T out of the box. You can get this device, get the LTE capabilities, and then turn off Facebook Home as you see me doing right now and take advantage of Android 4.1 in its most pure form. I mean, this thing looks just like Android 4.1 that you would see on, or a newer version, I should say, of Android that you would see on a stock Nexus device. It's clean, it's easy to use, I can access my wallpapers, Google Now, just like I would on a traditional Android 4.1 device, and I discovered Google Now, I can set it up if I want to, but I'm not gonna set it up right now. I'm gonna go back and show you Android 4.1 some more here. That's again, Jelly Bean, that's the older version of Jelly Bean, but still, you get something out of the gate for those people that really prefer stock as opposed to Sense, as opposed to TouchWiz, and things of that nature. The great thing about this device as well, going back to the Nexus 4 and comparing it, it's compact. So for those people that want that 4.3 inch display, don't want to get too big on the display side, it could be a great unit for you. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of this device, Facebook Home, and more. I'm on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron, Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi Aaron Baker, and we're on Google Plus as well at gplus.to slash PhoneDog. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.